Welcome back. It has been a while since I did this. The odd switch hasn't really been doing well, so I'm not sure if you guys really enjoy it or not. So if you really enjoy it and want me to do more, uh, like the video, comment something down below, helps me with the algorithm, subscribe too, you know. Anyway, if you are new to Odd Switch, this is a series where I basically compare switches that look oddly similar but at different price points. And today, we will be taking a look at the C3 Tangerines versus the Taxi Carrots. But before we continue with this video, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay provides services for the creation of PCBs and fabrication. You can print PCBs as the name suggests, you can print advanced PCBs, standard PCBs, even flexible PCBs. So it might not be keyword related, it can be related to a science project that you're doing. At the same time, they provide services for 3D printing as well. So you can print all kinds of random stuff like an artisan keycap case. It's really simple, upload the file and you're done. And if you don't have any keycaps then go print a keycap so if you're a first timer use the link in the description down below and sign up to get a five dollar off or free first prototype order so if you guys are interested go and check them out it's pretty cool okay so all these switches were sent over by ktex they sell all kinds of accessories for keyboards loops switches keyboard kits they ship globally now previously they didn't so go check them out link in the description down below so let's start with the c3 tangerines i have actually used them once in a keyboard build which i built for my friend you can check out the video up there they are being priced at eight us dollars for 10 switches so you would be paying 56 dollars for 70 switches that is what we would consider somewhat of a premium switch as for our other contestant our taxi carrots being priced at only $4 for 10 switches. You would be paying $28 for 70 switches. So the taxi carrots are basically half the price of the tangerines. So now we will dive deeper into the details of each switch. Starting off the tangerines, the tangerines are advertised as one of the smoothest switches in the game. And honestly, it is actually really smooth. I think it is way smoother than Gateron Ink Blacks or Gateron Box Ink Blacks that I've tried. I've tried the Gateron CJs and the All Kings. I haven't tried all the switches in the world, but these are pretty smooth. Tangerines actually come in two variants. They come in a light and dark variant. The only difference being the weight. Light green will be going at 62 grams and dark green will be at 67 grams. Aside from that, they boast the unwipe housing, gold plated spring and is factory lubed. As for our taxi carrots, taxi has been creating all kinds of budget switches for everyone out there. Not really the lower end of budget, but like the mid tier budget. They are taxi... What do you call that? Taxi ice candies, which I've revealed. Check it out up there. And yeah, there are many taxi switches out there. They boast a housing made from PME material, a palm stem actuating at 55 grams and bottoming out at 67 grams. A pretty heavy switch to bottom out. It is also lightly pre-looped. Alright, so now that we know the base features of it, let's take a look at the exterior and interiors of each switch. Based on exterior wise, tangerines actually look better than me. I am not a huge fan of opaque orange housing. It really does look like carrots. I really do not like carrots. I don't eat carrots. But tangerines? The tangerines actually really remind me of tangerines, which is pretty cool. Uh, the translucent housing looks really clean, which is, I'm guessing why it's, it, it's more premium and well known, more famous more popular yes so yeah let's open them up and take a look at the individual parts starting with our top housing it is actually a pretty standard top housing both of them are pretty similar i do not see any noticeable differences next up is bottom housing they both are five pin linear switches so we will not be seeing any like click bar or tactile bump whatsoever linear switch best the main difference is that the taxi carrots use an opaque housing which means they need to have a hole for RGB to pass through. Unlike our C3 tangerines which are somewhat translucent in housing, they do not have to create such a massive hole for RGB to pass through. As for our springs, they are both for different weights but I do not see any special like double progressive call spring whatsoever that Echo does. It's just a normal spring, taxi just have a longer spring and C3 tangerines have a gold plated spring. And lastly is our stem. This is the biggest difference in the switches, I would say. Taxi carrots actually have a long pole stem. And if you do not know what that means, long pole stems basically means that the pole of the stem will bottom out first before your stem head does. And that basically produces a more distinct bottom out sound and a more crisp feel. Now we're gonna get into some sound tests, starting with a single switch of unlooped and loop switches.
Alright, so if you haven't gotten a better idea of how the switch sounds, I'm gonna give you guys a full sound test of both the switches looped in the KBD67 Lite R3. I know R4 is coming out, I'm not sure if they will contact me. I have tried contacting them like multiple, multiple times, but they have not replied me once. So if you guys can add KBD fans or something, you know, help me out. So yeah, we have come to the end of the video. Uh, Taxi Carrots actually produce a pretty thocky keyboard. It feels pretty heavy to type on, honestly. I am not a huge fan of it. On the other hand, the tangerines actually feel really good. I have forgotten how smooth they are and they are actually really smooth. They are a little on the clackier side, in my opinion. The KBD67 like made it sound a little bit talkier, but they are on the clackier side and Taxi Carrots are closer to the deeper sounding side called thock. As for recommendations, I don't think I have a proper recommendation that I can think of because it is both very different feeling and sounding switches. It is all down on personal preference when it comes to this hobby. And for me, I would choose C3 Tangerines. Even if it costs a little more, I'm hardcore linear gang and the switches feel really, really smooth. So yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, comment your thoughts on the switches, uh, any other switches you can think of. I have one that I'm planning which is Gaeron All Kings versus the JWK R2s. Those are actually really similar. Yeah, but aside from that, uh, subscribe if you are new here. We are at 42k currently when I'm filming this. I want to hit 100k by the end of the year, so road to 100k. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.